Hi, it's Elizabeth. Today I'm going to go over the proper use of one of these guys. This, I'm sure you've seen before, is called an incentive spirometer or otherwise a volume exerciser. Um, a lot of times you'll get them after you've had surgery or if you've been in the hospital due to an upper respiratory infection or you've been on a BiPAP or a ventilator, they'll send it home with you so you can do it at home. And a lot of times they don't actually teach you the proper technique. So you weren't, you're not gonna get the maximum benefit out of it. So I'm gonna go over that with you um, because it's actually a really, really good lung exercise. It helps prevent pneumonia. It helps prevent atelectasis, which is the collapse of small airways. If you're not taking big enough breaths, then those little airways will start to kind of collapse because you're not getting air to them to open them up enough. So um, this will actually help you do that. On top of that, it helps um, clean your lungs out. So if you have mucus in the airways, it'll kind of loosen it up a little bit and help you to cough it out. And um, it also, when used properly, will help strengthen your diaphragm, which is something that I talk about all the time, wanting to strengthen your diaphragm. So I'm gonna show you the proper way to use it. So obviously the mouthpiece goes right here. This is gonna tell you how much you're breathing in. And then this little guy over here, you wanna keep it in between these two arrows the whole time you're breathing in. A lot of people will um, try to take a deeper breath by doing a fast breath, when in actuality, fast breaths are smaller breaths than slow breaths. And I can demonstrate that too when I show you how to use this. But um, if you take a breath too fast, this little blue thing here is gonna go up really fast, hit the top and come back down. You don't wanna do that. That means you're only using the top part of your lungs right here, and you're not getting air down in here, which is where you want the air to go. So you do breathe in, don't breathe out into it. You just inhale. So you do it really slow, and it's kind of like um, drinking a milkshake or something that's kind of hard to um, pull in through a straw. But I'll go sideways here. So you put it in. Actually, I'll do it this way because you can see it. And I'm gonna start inhaling really slow and I'm gonna keep the blue dot in between my arrows. So I'm gonna go. Just like that. So I kept it in between there and doing it like that, I can feel it down here in my lower lobes. So I'm getting air everywhere. I'm gonna demonstrate how not to do it you're gonna put it in and if you try to breathe fast and hard, this is what's gonna happen. And that's what a lot of people do. I'm sure you saw that and heard it. Hit the top and come back down. So to start off, you might only be able to raise it a little bit while keeping it in between these arrows, but that's okay. Keeping it between the arrows shows that you're doing it properly. And even if you get a smaller volume on here, as long as you're keeping it in there, you're actually gonna get a better benefit than if you're getting a higher volume and letting this thing hit the top and come back down. Now also, as you do it, you can move this little guy so you know what you did before. And every day, try to get it just a tiny bit more. Now, of course, you will max out on how high you can get, but um, you, know, you just wanna do a little bit more each day and then once you get up to a good amount, you might stay there and that's fine. But um, you wanna to try to use this several times a day, at least at first when you get out of the hospital. And then after that, I would do it at least twice a day, in the morning and at night. It's just a good way to make sure you're getting good, nice deep breaths. So I wanna demonstrate it one more time just so you can see the proper way. I'm gonna do really slow and a deep breath using my diaphragm down here. Just like that. All right, as always, if you have any questions, just leave it under the comments. And um, if you don't mind, just hit the thumbs up button so other people can find the videos and click subscribe so other people can find my channel. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.